Hi everyone, this is Felisa here with Homebody back with another video. So in this video, I'm just sharing with you a few items that I purchased just for everyday use around my home, as well as a couple of fall items. I thought these items were awesome. And I know I have a lot of my subscribers that may wanna run out and get them. And I, so I decided to share them in this video. If you have not subscribed to Homebody, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up while you're at it. So let's get started. So while I'm focused on these three items, so let's get started on these three items. So I have a soap dispenser, a little box, and a soap dish. Now I'm missing the toothbrush holder, and I'm looking for that. I'm on a hunt for it. These items are so, so cute. And what I really, really like about this middle item is that I can use it as a flower pot. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how that's gonna look with some florals in it in just a few minutes. But this is my soap dispenser. I've already put some soap in it. It was $14.99. And this little box here, it was $14.99. And the soap dish was $7.99. Now I'm gonna be doing a revamp in my master bathroom. So I'm. this is where I'm going to, going to be using these items. I'm gonna show you at the end of the video how you can use this. It's actually a multi-use decor piece. So that's why I got it. So I'm gonna show you a couple of ways you can use that at the end of the video. So, so much for the bath, no, one more thing. This is an acrylic hand towel holder here. It came from Home Goods. It was also $14.99. Okay, everyone. So I saw these curtain tie bags on one of my YouTube sisters' channels. Just think, just either last week or this week, she did a revamp in her bathroom. It was super, super cute. I'm going to leave a link below to Design Phone with Michelle. I'm going to leave a link below to the video in which she showed the items that she had. Hers actually came from Ross. These actually came from Amazon. It was four for $19.99. And I think hers was two for either $6.99 or $8.99. And it came from Ross. So also, I wanted to just stress that these are actually an easy DIY. You can get, let me open up the pack so you can see them. So I have the pack open. And so what you can do to create this as a DIY is you can actually get a Tolly Dazzle, one of the biggest Tolly Dazzle brooches for this side. And you can get one of the Tolly Dazzle flatbacks or even a smaller brooch for that side. And you can go to the jewelry section in Hobby Lobby or even perhaps Michael's and purchase one of these flat necklaces or the stretchy, this one actually stretch, and they actually have the stretchy ones in Hobby Lobby. And what you do is also get yourself a pack of magnets. I think like four magnets come in a pack. And you don't even have to have, actually, you can get one of those Dollar, those dollar Tree um, napkin rings, and you can hot glue them to the back of the brooches, and then glue the magnet in the middle of the brooch. Or you can just, hot glue the magnet at the back of the brooch and and then use some totally dabs I'm I'm sorry you guys that e6000 industrial glue or hot glue and glue the necklace to the side of the actual brooches so yes and then you'll have some beautiful tie backs again these came from Amazon. I'm going to leave the link below to shop my Amazon storefront and you can purchase either two in a pack or you can purchase the four pack, which is what I did. Or you can have your way at a DIY and make your own, which will probably save you a little money, but it may come out to be about the same from once you end up purchasing the magnets and the necklace. It may run you about 20 bucks. Okay, so the next item I want to share with you is this birdie here. Okay, there we go. I've been watching this birdie for a couple of weeks from Home Goods, and I went ahead and grabbed it up. I didn't get it originally because it was 29 bucks, but this is adorable. I love this. And it's a good fall decor piece, it's a conversation piece, 
and I don't regret picking that up at all. I actually wish I would have picked it up a long time ago. Okay, so the next item I want to share with you is this vase. I picked up this vase from Home Goods. It's a mirror vase, and I thought it was so cute. And when I picked it up, I thought it was going to be like $49 or something, but it was only $14.99. Yeah, so it was only $14.99. Let me focus that. $14.99, and I thought that was a steal, so I grabbed that up really, really quick. So I talked about these items here. So I'm going to mention this tray in the middle. I love this tray. I actually have some napkin rings coming in that shape the same as this tray. I can't not wait to get those napkin rings to do a tablescape with this tray in the middle of my table. But this tray was 22 bucks and it had a little stretch on it over here, but once I get through styling with this tray, you won't even see that it has a stretch in it. So the next item I want to share with you are these little starfish. They were $4.99 a piece. They came from Home Goods. Of course, I did the coral theme for the summer, and I'm going to do the coral theme again for the next for next summer. I loved it. It was so much fun. So the next item I want to share with you came from Pier One, actually. This pumpkin here. I like unique, unique items. I only purchased one, um, but I thought it was cute, and it was. $14.99 and then they had everything like 15% off in the store so that's that and it actually pairs well with my birdie here now the next item I'm going to share with you is this beautiful bird on a stick I love the details of this bird it was I think it was 20 let me see I want to say 24 but it might have been 29 no, it was $24 and I thought it was so cute and unique I'm gonna be doing a fall tree this year for fall I've never done one before and I've decided to do a fall tree this year and I'm gonna use this underneath my fall tree in my home office I'm gonna use some gold or maybe gold teal silver light colors and this would be perfect under the tree so the last thing I want to share with you came from Amazon and it's sitting back there on my couch. Let me show you. So this is actually a pillow cover and it really, online it was a little bit more striking than it is in person, but I still like them. It's a pillow cover. It was two, I think two in a pack for $12.99 and I've stuffed the other one already with a pillow. I stuffed it with one of those feather pillows so I can do my karate chop bam so yeah so these are the items that i purchased to share with you guys i'm going to leave the link below for michelle's design fun with michelle and the link below for amazon just in case you want to get your hands on the amazon items that i have and i'm going to share with you i'm going to do a coffee table styling with with these items here and i'm going to share with you some ways that you can use this bathroom container so hang on don't go anywhere so here's one of the ways that I will use my bathroom accessory container so this is in my living room and I'm gonna just show you different looks that you can get this is so pretty I love that so I just took some florals that I had in another flower arrangement and put it in this arrangement and I just changed out my pillows just so I can take a couple of snaps for my Instagram so if you're not following me on Instagram why don't you follow me at homebody with for Lisa so here's another one basically all I did was change out the taper candles and the florals and I just threw my cerulean pillow back there, even though this is more of a tealish, greenish looking color, still looks cute. So I'm just showing you how you can use a bathroom accessory in your living room and no one will ever know that it's a bathroom accessory, right? 
So here's another styling. I am using my bathroom accessory as a candle holder. I think I'm gonna throw in one more after this and then I'm gonna save the rest for a style so many different ways video. I can't wait to do that with that piece. So yeah. I think this is so, so cute. I have some Burlington canisters here. Florals came from Amazon. Candles came from Hobby Lobby. Blinged out candlesticks came from Pier One. The candle in the middle came from Z Gallery and the actual tray, you guys saw that in the haul itself. Well, I said this was gonna be my last one, but I wanna go a pre-fall one in here after this one. So, here what I did was I used it as a container to store the drink stirrers in here, and I just laid my little Tweaked box on top of them a couple of wine glasses, the champagne bling bottle that everyone was trying to get last year around the holiday times from Ross, and the florals and the candle, tapered candle back there. So this is really cute. Okay, love, so here's the last and final one. I am so, so loving it. Because of course it's silver and silver is one of my favorite colors besides red, but I'm not using red for the fall. I am loving this. This is putting me in the mood to start decorating for fall, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna put my fall decor back in the bin and put my summer decor back out. I actually wanna do an inventory of my fall items and do a video just to show you guys um, how I have my fall items stored away. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!